Ask you, remember when uh, the Irvine company took away calls and coffee yes. from Irvine? Sad day for all. Sad day for everyone, you know. Calls and coffee was the original event. Every Saturday, 600 plus calls would converge onto the Mazda building in Irvine. And that started up a big trend as now there's chapters all over the world. Houston calls and coffee, Dallas calls and coffee. Hawaii calls and coffee, but the original calls and coffee was outset because the Irvine company they started to put up some apartments and they didn't want noise, so they kicked them out. And they try to set up some other calls and coffee in other areas. They all fail because there's nothing in Irvine that's not controlled by the Irvine company. <laughs> but then what happened was this founder and CEO of Ruby's Diner, which is a chain that started in Newport Beach, and a car and fellow car enthusiast, right? He decided to take cars and coffee under his wings, managed to call up the city of Costa Mesa, which is still in Orange County, neighbor city, neighbor city and asked if he can take over the OC fairgrounds, where they do the annual OC fairs, and Saturday for Saturday and stuff, and cars and coffee is now back. It's back. It's it is back every Saturday at the OC fairground, back and better than ever. No need to worry about being kicked out. Not only that, Meguiar's, the wax company, local company, is sponsoring it. And also, the Peterson Automotive Museum. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. They, they, the Peterson Automotive Museum, they're in L.A. But what they do is every Saturday, they bring one of their cars from the museum oh. to show off. So, I've seen some really, really nice and like one-of-a-kind cars there. Yeah. So if you, yeah, the, for the grand reopening, Peterson bought along a $15 million dollar Duesenberg or something like that to show off. Anyway, wow. but next week you get to see the hybrid Porsche 918. This is a this is a That's a, new, a new million dollar price. Porsche that gets 100 miles per gallon. That's awesome. Does it make and any noise? It goes zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. It makes noise if the engine comes on. Got it. Or you can put it in silent mode and just have the electric motor only. Just torque. Then you'd be like a torque Tesla. Torque. Speaking of Tesla, you can I I, I order a Model X. You did? Yeah, I did. Uh, a day What's after, the ex estimated arrival, 2025? I have no idea. But a day after the, they, they showed up the Model X, uh -huh. and I was talking to my wife, and I was telling her about, oh, you know, it has five-star crash safety and rollover. It can't be rollover and all that kind of stuff. Right. And, and I go, and it goes to the 60 in 3.2 seconds. She didn't care about that. <laughs> but she did care about it. They did like the five-star safety, can't not be rolled over, sure. and that when they did the side impact, it broke the pole. The what? Yeah, when they did the side impact uh -huh. test, it broke the pole. <laughs> that's the car, good. The car, yeah, yeah, that's how that. strong it was. Right? So, I, but then, then she says she wants the car. Okay. Right. So uh, we, we, after the walk, we went back home and, and I, I, I reserved a Model X. And I put my five thousand bucks down and I reserved it. And then I, I, now I'm just waiting for them to call mm -hmm. me up and say, "Come get my car. Order my car." So you're gonna trade in the Lexus, or? Uh, I guess I'll just sell the Lexus. Right. Yeah, but. I, it says that it should be available sometime in the middle of 2016. So, well, this is eight to 12 months if I put an order in, eight right to now? 12 months. But realistically, it's, it could be anywhere from more, it's gonna be more 12 like to 15 to months, <laughs> all yeah. we know. But yeah, it'll be a while before I get the car, you know. And the cool thing is, you know, besides, in addition to ludicrous speed, you know, you can have regular speed and ludicrous mode. And, yeah. Yeah. I, what they should do is when you hit that button, they should have that you know space bar movie. Go, Prepare to jump to ludicrous me. <laughs> they should Wait, do that. So does this one, the one that you get, doesn't have those fancy HEPA filters, right? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Yes, it does definitely. It has those Anti big, those, those big HEPA filter, yeah. the uh, and which is the uh, bio weapon defense mode. Bio so if we ever if we ever get attacked <laughs> with some kind of bio weapon, we engage that, and nothing will get in. Only fresh air will get. Will survive or. If I'm ever, if I'm ever tailgating a Volkswagen, <laughs> engage the bioweapon defense mode, no problem. Those Volkswagen cannot kill you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yesterday, I received an email from the producer of the reality TV show uh, Below Deck from Bravo. And uh, you know, for those who don't know, Below Deck is a, it's a reality show about a charter crew who works on a big 155 foot mega yacht and the drama and stuff. And, and every week they welcome, they welcome some new guests who pay for the charter and stuff like that. Anyway, the producer emailed me and asked me if I want to be on an episode of Below Deck. All right, so uh, me and seven other people would go to the Mediterranean and we would 
we would basically have three days of cruising the Mediterranean, using the boat, using the helicopter, whatever, all the amenities that this show offers. And they'll film us and I'll be on TV. I'll be on, I'll be on, a, I'll be on, a, on a show that's seen by 1.2 million people. Uh, the only problem is I love to go, I, oh, by the way, this is not free. I still have to, actually have to pay for the charter. And the charter on a boat that size for three days is over $100,000, plus the tip, which will run around 25 to 30 grand. So, but, you know, I'll get, I'll get to be seen in front of 1.2 million people, so I figured this would be good for my brand. It sounds kind of cool. The only problem is uh, the filming is in nine days. I had to be Mediterranean. That's, that, that's just way too short. So what I'm going to do is, since it's a reality show, I'm going to do real reality. I'm going to call her up. I'm going to reject her. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her up. <laughs> yeah, and then we're going to put her on the speakerphone, maybe. Uh, hey. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to call her up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, her name. Uh, okay, okay. Actually, I'm not going to reject her. I'm going to tell her thank you very much, but... Uh, you know, yeah, got her on the speakerphone. And I'm gonna ask her maybe if I could be on a future episode instead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Kendra, John Shell here. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I, I wanna thank you very much for inviting me to be on the show. The thing is, uh, the, the, time, the timeline is just way too short for me. I, I can't get that all organized within the uh, next 10 days. But, you know, okay. I, would, I would love to be, if you have an opening for a future episode, I just need a longer timeline. I would actually love to be on it. Excellent. All right. Yeah, well, thank you very much for the offer. Okay, thank you. No problem, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right, I'll just look for me in a future episode of Below Deck. <laughs> <laughs>